What's up YouTube, Danny Hype here with another Dragon Ball Super video. Today's video is a deck profile. Uh, the deck I have for you is the Sun Gohan Leader of Universe 7 from the uh, T.O.P. set. Uh, I've actually been playing it quite a bit lately, uh, having a lot of fun with it. Uh, one of my friends actually, Luca, he's the one who actually brought the deck to my attention. Uh, he kind of had like a build going and he wanted me to play it for him. I played it, uh, I started to enjoy it because it was a different play style than what I'm normally used to playing, you know, like my Chain Attack Xeno decks. Um, but yeah, he wanted me to test it out for him, so I tested it out. I eventually made some tweaks to kind of fit my own playstyle and what I thought would be best for the deck. So the version you're about to see is the one I actually took to my uh, shop championship this past weekend where, you know, Dragon Ball was having their cross world shop championship tournaments. And I actually took down first place, you know, I had to play a bunch of Ginyu Veggies, which is actually the meta right now. Like, it's probably one of the best meta decks right now. And this deck can actually hold its own against it. It can actually hold its own against most of the uh, top, like, you know, tier one meta decks right now. I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't uh, find this deck a little bit sooner because it's actually pretty fun to play um, and I think I could have done really well with it throughout this format. But we are going into set 4 format which I will show you an updated deck version for set 4 because set 4 is releasing I think like in the next two weeks or so. Uh, so a little updated version, I'm not sure how it'll be good, if it'll be good in the next set, but you know it's still really fun to play and I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, so I took down the shop championships. I actually beat my uh, my friend and uh, teammate uh, Zuhair in the finals. He beat me in Swiss. I beat him in the finals. He was playing Ginyu Veggies. So yeah, if you guys still have shop, shop, shop champions to take and you guys want to try something new and spicy, this is definitely the deck to take. Uh, it's really fun and it has a really good matchup against the, uh, against the meta right now. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so here's the deck. Um, if you don't already know Gohan's ability, uh, the first part, Warrior of Universe 7, is essentially means all of your Universe 7s are kind of colorless, so you don't really have to worry about energy. All you need in this deck is one blue and one red, uh, whereas some other decks, like let's say Ginyu Veggies, you know, they need to open up two green to start playing their Kabas. Uh, Chain Attack Zeno needs to have at least three red to get out their things, uh, so it actually uh, helps quite a bit not having to worry about that. Uh, the next part is when you combo with a Universe 7, draw two cards. So that's his main ability, and that's the ability that makes him really good because you draw so many cards with this leader that you can just you beat your opponent just on pure hand advantage and aggression. Now when you flip him over, everything's the same except he can combo um, with battle cards that are in rest mode. We have four Kabas when you want to go for the double strike because double strike is what's key here. When the, your opponent's at four life, you, all you have to do is just double strike, double strike, and you can just kill them. So, like, you know, one Kampa that gets through brings them from four to two, and then you just leader attack, Champa, and then you can finish the game off like that. The next one is your Universe 7. It's the super combo, and this super combo with this particular deck is insane. There's plays where if you can set it up properly, let's say you're at four life, right, and you're unawakened still, there's times where I'll just play my super combo. I'll actually play my super combo for two energy. I will swing with him. Combo, let's say, uh, a Goku that was already on board, draw two cards. Then, I can flip my guy, my, my leader, untap the two energy, swing with my leader, combo the super combo, and then draw three cards. You can get like five, six cards on just by awakening. The next one is Gale. Now, Gale is, it's kind of, it's just there because, one, it's a universe seven card. So you can combo with it because there's times where you don't open your Gokus or, let's say, a Roshi or something like that, and you you just want to draw cards so you can just play gale for two swing with your leader and uh, yeah combo gale which seems kind of weird you know gale vegeta seems kind of weird comboing a 15k barrier two drop but getting that plus two cards and just kind of digging through your deck to find more cards and build your hand is much more important than having battle cards out there because you're going to win off your leader attack and uh, and just double strikes you don't actually care too much about your battle cards um now why gale's uh better than some other ones is because he is a two drop these games end by turn like four, you know, so being able to play a two drop sometimes just to attack with it is really good. And the barrier, because Ginyu Veggies is a big deal right now. Um, and Gale, uh, Gale Strike Vegeta does not get uh, Shigesh Goku, Shigesh Kaled, and the barrier is just phenomenal. The next card is your Further Destruction Champa. This is like your game ender. You always want to just have that one, it's like that one ace in your hole, just to have that one card in your, um, in your hand for when you do go for a game. People will always expect it, but, you know, they... There's not much they can do. You have it. If you have it, you have it. You don't, you don't. Uh, the next one is Unbreakable. You guys know me. I love my super combos. This is basically another super combo. Eight super, eight super combos in a deck that can untap energy and have energy untapped is just phenomenal. Uh, you just always, defending yourself or going aggression, you just keep pulling more cards, more cards, and you can hit combos of like 150 and stuff like that. It's just insane. Uh, the next card is Ready to Fight Sun Goku. He is the main card in the deck. He is probably the best card in the deck. And I was like, man, he's, he's like... He is the deck, basically. You play him for one, 
You look at top three, get a universe seven, and there's usually enough that you don't whiff. So there, boom, he replaces himself. Then you swing with your leader, combo him, and he draws you two more cards. What? Uh, the next one is unyielding. Untapping energy is just broken. Uh, this combined with sensu bean, you can just your turns can last forever. Just going, you know, untap, untap, play, untap, untap, play, stuff like that, and just. And it makes it so you can really uh, combo all of your 10k combo cards. Because uh, the next one is kind of a split. Uh, it's the Gohan and Piccolo. I'm going to go into more of the in set 4 because it does change a bit of what you want to play. Um, but for now, I just put Piccolo as 2 because 1, he's a barrier um, barrier blocker, which could come in handy, especially against like U7 decks, uh, to help against the Victory Strike. And then the Focus Gohan. Sometimes when you just get him on board and he just sits there, it's just so plus after that because every turn you can just look at top seven, pull a Goku, combo that Goku, and then draw two, and then you know you just plus three cards for free basically. Because next one is Krillin, who's probably like the next MVP in the deck because of how popular Ginyu Veggies is. One, he's a Cobalt Lust bait, and two, he just helps you deal with some of the Veggie board. Ultimate play with him though is on the turn when you're on five life, you play Krillin, you know you kill something on board, you take a life. You attack with Krillin, combo, you know, something that's already on board like Goku or Roshi, draw two, flip uh, flip your leader, and it's basically the same thing like you did with the Goku. You swing with your Gohan, and now you co combo Krillin because he's in rest mode, um, and you have energy up because you untap the energy that he, he paid for three, so it's basically paying one for Krillin, and then Krillin just draws even more cards, so Krillin in this deck is actually pretty awesome. Only reason I don't have four is because ability is actually mandatory to take a life, so you can only really use him once kind of thing. If you use him at five to four to awaken yourself, or maybe four to three if you want but other than that you never want to use him really that much uh kind of late game so that's why he's only three plus you draw so much uh, you'll easily find him next one is your android super combo into play uh battle card this one's good because you can combo twice with her within your opponent's turn let's say they attack you you combo her into play and now she's in rest mode if you're awakened obviously and then let's say they attack with something else if you want to you can combo her again uh, in rest mode to defend yourself again so it's like two energy for you know 10k to help you know defend yourself if you have the energy which for the most part you usually do uh, so that's why I, I like her actually my, every card in this deck is so good because like Roshi is so good in this one too uh, like especially when they're being aggressive on you let's say they attack you like a Vegeta right if a Vegeta attacks you you can just Roshi his his critical you know he can't kill this Roshi come back to your turn you swing combo Roshi and Roshi just drew, drew you two cards and saved you some crit damage you know Roshi is there's the only one drops, and if they if they ever release another one drop that you could that it's really effective with this deck, man, this deck would be bonkers. Because sometimes you don't draw that Goku and it feels bad, but Roshi's another replacement. There's times where I just play Roshi for one swing to combo just to draw the two, because one you still want to be aggressive with this deck and you want to keep drawing cards. So you know throwing away Roshi's for the negate is kind of whatever. Uh, the uh, the next one. Actually, I'll do the Sensu Beans first. Sensu Bean is just broken. I forgot how good this card is. I actually think Sensu Bean is one of the best cards in the game now. Uh, it helps really good against Ginyu Veggies, especially when you throw one on there. They can't really keep coming at you, you know, without expending more of resources to kind of combo up or do this. And then they just slowly lose their hand size and you just beat them off of pure hand size and like a one battle card if you need it. Well, now the last one's a black card. So now this one, normally I would probably just play three Foo. Because uh, Fu is just great in this deck. One, because you, you always combo because you, you, you build your overall actually quite quickly, um, which is really good. But then, the only reason I played two Mass Stain is because my locals is actually pretty heavy with Ginyu Veggies. Uh, at least the really good players are playing Ginyu Veggies, and you just kind of need Mass Stain. Uh, when I was, whenever I got paired up against him, I just maxed the four Mass Stain because I wanted to see it as early as possible. That, along with Krillin, helps you really control the board. And it just helps you, uh, yeah, it helps you quite a bit. Now the side deck, side deck's kind of up in the air. I always say side deck to what you're, what you think you're going to be playing at your locals. You know, maybe if you're going to the main event, you can kind of go more meta. But your locals, everyone's locals is different. So this is the deck I used to win the shop championship. Uh, it's been really effective for me. I've actually been playing it online on my Twitch. I'm in the ARG online invitational, so I've been playing that there as well. Uh, and it's been doing pretty well with me. Uh, Alright, so now moving on. I know this video is getting really long. Thanks if you guys are stuck around. I've been I've been talking a lot, but there's just so much to talk about with this deck. Um, but this deck is going to change soon because set 4 is coming up. So uh, I do have a set 4 version of it. It doesn't change too much, but uh, this is the set 4 version I've kind of been tinkering with. You know, you can always just... Uh, whenever you take one of my, whenever you want to play with one of my decks, you guys, you know, never take it for fa like this is like a skeleton, you know, uh, kind of you know start off with this build and then kind of make it and build it to your own and kind of do that to fit your play style because you know I'm not gonna say I, I figured out this deck yet. This deck still has a lot of tinkering to do and I'm not 100% sure I even have it right yet. But it's been working for me and it might not actually work for you, right? So it's like you know kind of tinker with it and figure out your own play style. Uh, so the only 
things that I added or changed was the piccolos here, like I said I was mentioning before, um, because of this new piccolo. This new piccolo just made this deck infinitely better. Now, because now there's eight cards that basically plus you three on one of your turns, right? So Goku looks at top three, picks a card, and then you sack him, draw two cards. So you just drew three cards that turn. Piccolo does the same thing, whereas, but he just, you play him, he gets you a specific card, which is actually, uh, could be this Gohan or Gohan, which is your blue or red energy. It's because sometimes you will run into that, man, I need one blue or one red, you know, with, with your one red, you never, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to energy your super combos, and sometimes you want your Kabas, and, you know, maybe you don't run into another Champa, so he's like, you can search for your red energy, you know, play this as red energy, and then, um, uh, throw them away, uh, sorry, and then attack, combo them, and draw two. So you basically drew three cards on those turns. Turn one, you draw three. Turn two, you draw three. Turn three, you, you know, it just, there's so much draw power in this deck, it's ridiculous. Uh, and then, so, reason you pay the Piccolo, uh, sorry, these two Gohans and not the other Piccolo is because this Piccolo searches out these two Piccolos, your blue energy or your red energy. And this is the other new one. At first, I had BC Gohan in here for the red energy fix, but uh, when they released this guy, he's Universe 7, so he just works better with the deck because you can actually play him combo him if you want and if you ever find yourself low enough in cards he uh draws you two so that's still a pretty decent effect um and then as you see here i did the three foos and obviously you can change your black cards to fit your meta you know i might end up putting mass saiyans back in because maybe ginyu veggies is still a thing um and then other than that it was just this flute now flute is probably one of the more powerful cards of this set as you see people have been talking about uh, i threw it in this deck does it work with this deck? Eh, you know, sometimes there are occasions where I can pull back my Kaba so I can play the Kaba again. Is it the best card in this deck? Not by a long shot. Is it a good card? 100% it's a good card. Is that, yeah, again, you guys can figure out uh, for yourselves what you guys like and don't like. Uh, but yeah, you guys, this is the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this took so long. And if you stayed to the end, thanks again uh, for all the support. And see you guys next time.